So in this video, I'm going to go over how to create sprite animations within Pygame. And specifically, this is going to be about creating explosions. So I'm going to quickly show what it looks like. Anytime I click the mouse on the screen, it creates this explosion animation. And I can just keep clicking and just keep creating them all over the screen. So I'm going to jump straight into how to code this. I've, uh, I've pre-typed some of this initial uh, startup code for Pygame. So I'll quickly run through what I've done. I'm just importing libraries, initialize Pygame, and then create my clock for my frame rate. I create my screen, define my background color, and create a function for filling the screen with that background color. And then I've got my game loop here, where I've got my event handler for quitting the game. So that's all kind of standard uh, code that you would have for any of these Pygame projects. So I'm going to jump into how to create that explosion now. And this is going to be a sprite class. So I'll add a note here, create explosion class, class explosion. And because this is going to be a child of Pygame's built-in uh, sprite class, I need to reference it here, pygame.sprite.sprite. Now I need to start off with my usual init function, and this will take the x and the y coordinates as its two arguments. The next thing to do, whenever we're uh, we're creating a child class for, well, whenever we're using sprites essentially, because you're creating a child class of Pygame sprite um, superclass, you need to call it within the init function. So Pygame dot sprite dot sprite underscore init self. And this will allow you to inherit the inherit the functionality of the sprite class. So the first thing I need to do now after that is create a list. An explosion animation, or well, any of these sprite animations basically are just a collection of individual images stored in a list, which you then cycle through to create an animation from. So I can show you, I've got this sprite list here. The explosion sprite list I downloaded uh, has... A, essentially like a sequence of the explosions in this different stages. So I only used uh, a few of them. I've only used five pictures just to create a quick animation through it. Uh, this is open source, so I'll put a link to where I got this in the description of the video. Uh, I'll also include these five pictures so that you can test the code for yourself. So that's what this image list is going to hold. It's going to hold these five individual images. And you notice they're stored in an image uh, directory and they're named exp1, exp2, exp3 and so on. So I've done that so that I can easily load them in with a for loop. So for num in range 1 through 6 I want to load in images one by one. So for this I'll use pygame.image.load and I will use Python's uh, string formatting here. So the folder or the directory that I want to go to was image and then the image name was exp so if you remember it was exp12345 so this is where that num is going to come in and finally dot png so essentially this was going to cycle through this uh, this range here one through well it'll be one through five because uh, it doesn't include the very last digit and then it was going to load in image forward slash explosion one, two, three, four, five. And with each image that's, that's loaded in, I can add them to my list. Before I do that, I want to scale them. So pygame.transform.scale, and the image and the size that I want to go to. So this could be useful if you want to use the same animation, but say you want to create a large and a small explosion. You could just scale them to different sizes. So once they're scaled, the last thing to do is to append them to that list. So that's it. After this, I have created uh, essentially that list of each individual stage of the explosion animation. So now I need to define a few other variables. So the first one is going to be index. And this index is going to be what I use to access the particular uh, image within the list. So I'm going to start off at zero so that I get the first picture every time I create an instance of this. The next two variables are something that you need to define when using start, uh, sprites. So self.image 
it, well, it's self-explanatory. This essentially is the image that's going to be shown on the screen. So I want to access them from my images list. And the index that I want to use is my self-index. So the next thing is you need to create a rectangle from this. Because I already have my image, I just type self.image.get underscore rect and Pygame will just create a rectangle from that image. Next thing I need to do is create a position for this. So because I'm going to be positioning it on the X and Y coordinates that I will supply, I want my rectangle midpoint to be at that X and that Y. And lastly, I will define a counter variable. So I'll explain what that is uh, shortly. So that's my init defined. The next one I want to define is update. And again, when using uh, the sprite classes, you define update and move because then you can access them uh, easier through groups later on. So I want to add a counter here, explosion speed. Uh, actually, it's not a counter. It's a uh, it's going to be setting the rate at which the images update. So it's it's essentially the speed the, the animation will go through. And what I want to do now is my update my explosion animation. So since this is the update function, all of the changes to the images and to the animation are going to be happening here. So this counter is going to be increasing at each iteration. So counter plus one. And now I want to actually go through my image list and uh, look for which image it is that I should be accessing. So I can do that by checking if that counter has is equal to, or is greater than or equal to my explosion speed variable. Then I want to first of all reset the counter so it starts back at zero again, and then I want to increase the index. And uh, what this is going to do is access the next image within the, the list. So this essentially just moves the animation over by one point. And to access that, I say my image equals the images list accessed at the index. So of course, that index has just been updated, meaning that I just update my image to the next one in that list. The issue here is once I get to the end of, uh, well, end of the list, it's going to throw an error because then I'm going to increase the counter, uh, increase the index by one more. It's going to try and access an index that isn't actually within that list, and it's going to give me an out of bounds error. So I need to add an extra condition here. And self dot index is less than the length of that images list minus one because I'm adding one to it within the function. Okay, so that's going to define my updating. And uh, the last thing I want to do, and I'll add a comment here, if the animation is complete, then reset animation index. So if my, uh, I'll type it out first and explain it. Greater than len cell. So essentially what I'm saying is if I've come to the end of this list, minus one, if I've come to the end of the list and I've also come to the end of the counter. Self counter is greater than or equal to explosion speed. So remember, normally what would happen under this condition is that the index would increase by one. But I've now come to the end of the list. So I've reached the end of that uh, animation sequence. I have no more images to show. I want the animation to stop. So self dot kill. And all that does is it deletes that instance. So animation, once it comes to the end of the list, it's not going to do anything else. It's just going to kill that uh, animation or explosion instance. So that's the explosion class created. So now I can start to initialize it and to call it within the game loop. So another aspect of using sprites within uh, Pygame is that you use groups to go with them. Uh, this isn't a sprites tutorial, so I'm not going to go too much into the details of it. Uh, but I'm just going to show how I'm doing it. So I create a group first of all, explosion group, and this is a pygame.sprite.group. So that's going to allow me to use the update and move functions that normally are inherited from the sprite class. So I can come down into the code here, and underneath where I draw my background, I can now, uh, you'll notice I haven't defined anything else from this. So I've created this variable as a group, but I haven't, there's no instances and there's no 
class to go with it because of the way that these groups work together. So I can call explosion group dot draw and give the variable the argument screen, which is the screen uh, my game window, and then explosion group dot update. So note I haven't defined a draw function anywhere. I've only defined an update function in that class. This is just uh, one of the features of using sprites uh, in Pygame. So the last thing to add is an event for how to actually create these explosions. So if you remember, the explosions were created whenever I click the mouse, which means that what I'm looking for is an event of mouse button down. So anytime I click the mouse, I want to create an explosion. And I want to create this explosion at my mouse coordinates. So first I'm going to get those by saying pause, which is the variable I will save those coordinates in, dot mouse dot get underscore pause. And this is going to give me an X and a Y variable. So now I can create an instance of the explosion class here. And if that takes, if I come back up to my init, it takes uh, an X and a Y argument. So the X and Y I can take from this pause that I've just obtained. So the X is stored at index zero and the Y is stored at index one. And lastly, now that I've created that individual instance, I want to add it to my group. So my explosion group was defined previously and I can add that explosion instance, which I've just created here into my explosion group. So this is actually very similar to lists. Normally you would create a list and then you would say dot append which I have done uh, up here when I was creating the list of images to start with. So with groups, instead you use dot add. Okay, so let me just run the code and check if it's working. And I've made a typo somewhere, so let me just double check this. Uh, I'll go back up into my class. So self dot, ah, okay. I, my list is called images, so I just missed it. I uh, missed the S there. So I'll try that again. Okay, and there we go. Uh, that's working fine. So anytime I click the mouse, I create an explosion on the screen. And all that's happening is there's a list of these explosions and it just cycles through them. So actually I can slow all this down quite a lot. So if I change the frame rate, so I change it to 10 and I click again, you can see what's actually happening there. It's just drawing the sequence one by one. It's just that when I change the frame rate to something higher, it happens so quickly you don't really notice it. The other thing was uh, this explosion speed counter. If I change this, so if I make it say 10, that means that the counter has to go for longer before it flicks onto the next image. So if I try that again, it's a similar effect to changing the frame rate. It's just that normally in the game you would want to lock your frame rate to, well, uh, say 30 or 60 frames. So this allows you to change the speed at which your animation is processed at. Now I'll switch this back down to say four and run this again. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So if you found this uh, video useful, then please leave a like. And if you want to see more of these tutorials, then feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.